Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is going to be an overview of messages or iMessage in iOS 10. We'll go into settings first, and then we'll talk about all of the different new features that are in messages. So if we go into settings, you'll see we're in messages already, and I have iMessage turned on. Now, if you're not familiar with that, you probably are if you've used an iPhone, uh, but basically it allows me to send texts between all of my iOS devices and anyone else that has iMessage enabled, and it's seamless, it bypasses your carrier, it just uses data, doesn't count against texts, anything like that, and it works really well, and it's encrypted end to end. We also have show contact photos, text message forwarding. It allows your phone text messages to also be sent and received on other devices signed into your iMessage account. We also have send read receipts so someone can understand if they've received it or not. We've also got send as SMS. Most of these options are the same keep messages, expire, etc., uh, video messages. So nothing really new here, just things that are turned on. If I want to show the subject field, I can. I can do a character count. I can block people as well. So let's go home. Now we're in messages, and this is with my brother. And I was talking about a Mac Pro and why I should have probably bought the iMac instead. And that's basically what this conversation is. You can read it if you'd like, but uh, he works in IT and I work in generally that field also. So this is messages or iMessage for iOS 10. A little bit different here. It looks a little bit different. If I go to the I for information, you'll see his name. It's going to show his location details, any of the photos we last had. I can send my current location, share my location, click on do not disturb for this one particular person, send read receipts, look at attachments. These are all the different photos. I can scroll all the way to the bottom. We'll go all the way back up. Some pictures of some upcoming videos, some IMAX there, things like that. Pretty cool. And just basically shows locations. And that's it as far as what's in the information part. Now what's really nice here is we've got the keyboard and there's also a new keyboard sound if you're not familiar with that. It's it's built in. Really doesn't sound too much different. Let me see if you can hear it. Let me turn this up too. Let me bring this up so maybe you can hear it. So I'm not sure if you could hear that but it sounds a little bit different. And this is messages so it looks a little bit different. We can do the same thing if we hold the microphone. We can record our voice and send that. We can also say voice messages or voice to text messages. I'm just recording a video and showing a few things to people watching it. Well, it didn't record the it, but it kind of got the idea. The next thing is going to be in this little box here. Now this is kind of neat. We hit the photo button and we can flip the camera around and now it's looking up. You can see it's looking up at me and the camera. I can take a photo and it goes in here instantly, flip it back around or oops, let me go back in here or I can click to the left, go to my camera or photo library there. We'll go back in or pick any of these other photos. So what you can see here is benchmarks on iOS 10. We can go to this little heart and this heart allows us to draw just like we had an Apple watch. So I can say hi and watch it'll go into here. It's pretty neat. I can also tap and hold with two fingers and it'll give kind of like the heart rate thing uh, like it did on the Apple watch, but it's not your real heart rate. We can also tap and then if I tap on that, we can tap, hold and drag. Kind of neat little effects. Tap. And then if I scroll up, I've got a larger drawing pad. So I can say, hey, how are you? And send. And obviously I can change colors as well. So he'll be able to see that. There we go. It just took a moment to go through. So I think you get the idea with that. So that's kind of just something neat you can do. If I turn it to the side, well, let's go back home quick so I can bring the iOS 10's a little bit screwy with the rotation of the screen. You can see it's got all sorts of little bugs there. So 
Let's bring that here. There we go. And if we rotate it to the side, now we can write on a whole drawing pad also. So I can say hi, and it's more of a ink type look. So see so a little bit more messy that way. Or I can say congratulations or happy birthday and hit done and then send it. So it's got all these nice little things built in that are, that are neat, but it's also got something else. And if we go to here, we can send music. So if they have Apple music, things like that, we can send. If we go over here, we've got different icon packs or image or sticker packs, as I believe they're called. And then we've got photos so I can, how about we search for a frog, something random. And then we can send a frog. There's Kermit, it looks like, and we'll send him. So we'll go back down here and you'll see again, it's buggy. If I hit this button here, this shows us what we currently have for different packs. Developers will be able to add this eventually and change this up. So let me, let me send a few things to get that off the screen <laughs> so it doesn't drive us all nuts. There we go. So we've got that. Now if we hit this little arrow, we've got the option to see just more of them all at once. So we've got all these really neat options. Now one of my favorite things is I can say hello, but if I hold the send button, I get some more options. So I can do invisible ink, and what that does is make it, well, let me show you what it does. If I send that, you'll see how it's kind of blurred out there. If I scrape my hand over it or finger over it, it unblurs it and then it will fill back in in a moment and blur out. So if it's something you didn't want someone else to see, it only lasts for a little bit, but anybody could walk by and scrape that off. Now, again, if I say hello again and hold the button, we've got gentle, it's tiny. We've got send with loud, we've got slam, and then we've got these screen effects. So we've got some balloons, We've got some confetti. We've got this laser effect or laser show. And we have fireworks. Oh, we also have one more. We have a shooting star. So if I send that, you'll see it darkens the screen. He'll see the same exact thing. And he's also running iOS 10, so he should be able to see these and they're going through. And that is basically everything within the new messages. I'm not aware of any new features other than that, but that's pretty much it as far as messages goes. They've added all of those little things, basically sticker packs and some neater ways to send text and the ability to write out text. I think it's really nice and it's definitely something that I guess a lot of people are pretty excited about. In fact, one of the people at Apple in charge of software said they put all this work into the back end of the iPhone and things like that, but when they announce things or changes with messages or a couple emoji, people get really excited. So they really focuses focused on iMessage and messages this time. And I think they've done a pretty good job. I can't wait until it gets a little bit more stable. Right now it's not so great, but it will get there. But that's hopefully a great overview of everything you can find in the new messages for iOS 10. If you've found anything else I haven't mentioned, please let us know in the comments below so we can all check that out. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.